Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, hi, with Shono here, about to give you another Injustice God's Among Us video. Now, as I talked about in my previous video, Injustice 2 Superman repeat will be done at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on good old Sunday, May 7th. So we're going to go online, and a new season is starting. Your rewards for the previous season are being calculated and will be issued soon. So in the season, we did get in the top 1%. We got our Flashpoint Deathstroke, three Alloy Swords, which are completely maxed out, and 150,000 credits. Flashpoint Deathstroke base, 1,240 damage, 1,360 health. It's actually pretty below average compared to some of the newer cards that have 1,500 damage and 1,300 health, like Flashpoint Batman. Now, one interesting thing about Flashpoint Deathstroke is he actually has synergy with Flashpoint Batman, who is maxed out. So we're going to sort by name. We're going to take both Deathstroke and Batman. Obviously, we do have to level up Flashpoint Deathstroke to actually use it. So the main purpose of this is we're going to be testing out some synergy Deathstroke. with Flashpoint Deathstroke and with Batman, because Deathstroke had the chance on special attacks to be assisted by Flashpoint teammates. So I'm not really sure how this works. We're probably going to have to take some power generation and test that out. The more Flashpoint characters, the more attacks he also gets on his combo ender. So, this is also something that we have to take into consideration. And of course, because we have an Elite 7 Arkham Knight Batman, that's going to work really well. So, he still has the same point blank that Arkham Origins and the Silver Deathstroke have. Not Red Sun Deathstroke or Insurgency Deathstroke. Now, it's been quite a while since we've had a extra Deathstroke, so that's pretty cool. His special 2 is called One Man Army. Deathstroke destroys anyone in his path on his way to find his lost crew and daughter. Burning damage over time for 6 seconds. And obviously the eye for an eye is the super move. So we're going to get up Flashpoint Batman. We're going to throw on some gear just so we can get through this fight. And then we're going to do some testing in a couple battles. So we're just going to throw on basic damage gear for Flashpoint Batman. Batman. Pretty amateuristic there. And let's throw on... The Riddler's Cane for Blackest Knight Superman, just so we can get a little bit more XP if we can find the gear in him. There it is. Superman. Alright, so we have in the test fight, Regime Wonder Woman, Prison Superman, and Insurgency Batman. All cards are level 40, Elite 5. So the three things we're going to want to test is how the assist with Flashpoint members works, and also... The other synergies like the crit damage and stuff that Flashpoint Batman gives. So we're going to get in Flashpoint Deathstroke who's going to get annihilated. That was basically worthless. Blackest Knight Superman is in. That's not going to do much either. Obviously we're going to need a lower fight or a bronze card to test out. So we're going to take that way of the bat from Insurgency Batman. There's no chance he can actually kill us. So we got the blood on my hands on Insurgency Batman. And you can see that doesn't even take him out. I really think that Flashpoint Batman's biggest weakness is his special. So you definitely do not want to focus on that. Focus on his basic damage, his strongest point. 35,521 XP as Flashpoint Deathstroke gains 7 levels to 8. 4,830 credits. All right, so we completed the battle. Not a big deal. Let's go into battle 32. So we're going to put on... We're going to spend 60,000 credits. We're going to put on Rosh Scimitar. We're going to put on Deathstroke's gear item. Keep in mind, Deathstroke's gear item also gives you 50% more damage on crit attacks. So that's also something to keep in mind because you also get 100% extra damage. And that also warrants testing out Cloak of Destiny versus another basic damage gear. So let's actually do that. Now, the, obviously, the proper way to test that is we have to throw the fight on purpose. And we can test out the damage that way. So we're going to throw in Flashpoint Deathstroke first. We could actually use the Gauntlet of Azrael, but we're not going to. So in the first test fight, we have Superman, Insurgency, Deathstroke, and Sheikh Ahmed Habibi. All cards are level 28. The non-gold card has three promotions. Probably could have put the Gauntlets of Azrael on. So we start at one bar. There's the point blank. So it looks like it adds a third hit to the combo ender. That 
seems really powerful. Now that is also a really cool effect. If Flashpoint Deathstroke overkills, it actually does hit another person. That is really powerful. However, it will not comp power drain because it hits on a new person. So that's some really good information. So you see 121 on the combo under 177 and 7808. Oh, so let's throw this fight on purpose. Just so we can do some testing. So that was Flashpoint Deathstroke with the Cloak of Destiny. So let's throw on. Let's just take the gear item off. Deathstroke. Deathstroke. And let's obviously give Flashpoint Deathstroke another gear item. We could actually throw the Cloak of Destiny on just to give him healing. But you can see that extra hit on the combo ender is very strong. And that also leaves Flashpoint Deathstroke or Flashpoint Batman the ability to not need basic damage gear like Rational Will's Prometheum. You can just throw it on Flashpoint Duster. But I want to see if we can get this assist working. So if we can't get it working in this fight, we'll try with some power generation. Begin. So you can see the damage is a little bit lower, 620. We haven't tested this with another basic damage item. So that's also something we have to consider. So let's get off the point blank. And there's an assist. I don't know exactly how much damage that does. But there you saw Flashpoint Deathstroke did assist. Let's get rid of Deathstroke. She must have been Habibi's in. And no pirate crew there from that. So let's throw this fight again. So we're going to run two more tests. We're going to run basic damage. And we're going to test out Flashpoint Deathstroke with Deathstroke. basic damage versus the Cloak of Destiny. Begin. If Superman would stop blocks me. It's so 816. So he actually does more damage using a third basic damage gear at him versus the Cloak of Destiny as it was only hitting for about 700. So we're going to off the one-man army, which is a swipe. That is a four hit move. And that basically burns Deathstroke away. So you can see the amount of damage it does. Really powerful. So down goes Flashpoint Deathstroke. It doesn't matter. Because we can just do an explosive battering and Shikosman Habibi gets eliminated. So you got to see how the combo ender works. Obviously, that third hit is not going to come into play when. Flashpoint Batman is on the team. So 11,840 XP. Flashpoint Destro gains a level of 9. 1,060 credits. So we're going to take off Blackest Knight Superman. Let's throw in Injustice 2 Aquaman. And let's just throw in Arkham Origins Bane. So we're going to recharge Death Flashpoint Destro. But we're going to give him straight power generation gear. So we're going to give him the Fourth World Godly Helmet. We're going to give him the League of Assassins, the Depth Knives, and the Ibis Stick. In this next fight, we want to test out... Well, actually, we do need Flashpoint Batman for the assist, so let's actually throw him in as well, even if we don't need him. I want to see how well the assist mechanic actually works. So here we're going to recharge both Flashpoint Deathstroke and Batman. So in the second test, we have Green Arrow, Bane, and Arkham Harley quit. So in this fight, we're going to try and get some power generation. So let's just throw in Flashpoint Batman so Destro doesn't take a whole lot of damage. There's the freeze arrow. doesn't really do much. We want Deathstroke at two bars. There he is. So we're going to go off the point blank. Doesn't do much. There's the assist. Hits for 8809. That's actually really strong. I don't reckon it's going to be that strong at high level. So that was one. And there's a third one. Down goes Green Arrow. So it seems to go off fairly often. We're going to have to block Bane. Red Slam blocked for 449. Now, is that a three-hit combo or two? So there was another pirate crew, so it looks to be over 50% chance. We'll do another test fight and see how often it goes off. 
10,322 XP, 1,080 credits. And then I want to test the Commander without Flashpoint Batman. <laughs> Alright, so that time we did not see Flashpoint Batman tag in, so it seems to be roughly about 50%, although I'm not certain. That time he didn't come in either. So Lex Luthor is in, and there's the assist. That assist also seems to be really powerful, even from... That's an unpromoted. We're going to get rid of Sheik Osman Habibi here. No assist from Flashpoint Batman. Cleaver's been blocked for 553. Let's get him back in. And there you see the Pirate Crew. So I think it is about a 50% chance to get somebody in. I'm not sure if it's based on how many Flashpoint characters. Like, if you have two of them, it's guaranteed. But it seems to be about a 50% chance. And that's pretty cool. 10,348 XP. Flashpoint Destro gains another level of 11. 1,100 credits. Alright, so now in this fight, we're going to take out Flashpoint Batman. We're just going to throw in Bane. Deathstroke. And we're going to put the Rasho Ghoul's Gauntlets of Azrael combo back on. And we're also going to use the LexCorp helmet. So this is another thing to test. The interesting thing about the LexCorp helmet is that it also acts as crit damage. However, you also get... Well, that would actually be with the chest plate. You get 70% chance of crit on basic attack. So obviously... Unless you really need the blocking, Promethium Longsword is definitely your best bang for your buck. So in the next test fight, we have Insurgency Batman, Regime Cyborg, who is black, and Regime Sinestro. The non-gold cards are level 29. Begin. So it actually looks like the gun has three shots of power drain, whereas most Deathstrokes have two. So how much power does it actually drain? It drains about a whole bar of power when you do that. So it is a three-hit combo under by Flashpoint Deathstroke. You don't get the extra hit, however, when you don't use an extra Flashpoint member. So that synergy is actually really powerful. And Flashpoint Batman giving extra crit damage is also really big. Flashpoint Batman easily gone. Cyborg is it. So you can see the combo under hitting for 428 versus about 800. So that is really powerful having the double Flashpoint series. Now, unfortunately, Flashpoint Deathstroke is going to be really hard to actually get up there because we have to wait for three more multiplayer seasons, but we finally did get him. So Sinestro gets eliminated, and you guys get to see how Flashpoint Deathstroke works when you have only him versus Batman that adds to the combo ender. And the Pirate Assist does about 8,000 damage if your Flashpoint Batman is maxed out. And I reckon it does a lot more if you have augments. So if you like this video showing off Flashpoint Batman at level 50 Elite 7, please give this video a like rating. Or, so if you like this video showing off Flashpoint Deathstroke and also getting top 1% in the previous season, please give this video a like rating. Comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other Injustice Gods Among Us videos playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood show now. And have a wonderful day, kids. I'm flexing with these bands, I do my dance because they love it. Hold on. Chase for the guap, do the running man. What? After I get it, I run again. What? I make it rain, call me Thunder Man. Uh, Count 20k uh, for the summer uh, end. Make 10,000 hours. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show now. Subscribe, bitches!